Hi folks, are we okay today? It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, Sunday morning, and uh, I'm going to title this uh, Enough is Enough, the longest goodbye in history. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to, I just want to end my days on YouTube finally, and I just want to be completely honest about certain things. Uh, the last video, the videos really have been getting my revenge back against the Rat Pack, uh, a group of atheists and pseudo-Christians uh, who did gang up on me over the last few months, uh, four or five months, and uh, give it me in the neck. So my going away videos have sort of been giving it them back, uh, what they give me. Um, but I am an honest person, and I'm a fair person, and if I make mistakes, I'll, I'll own up to them. And I want to own up to a mistake that I made. I had a debate with DPR Jones, and the atheist community accused me of plagiarism, because I used uh, an article right at the beginning by policeconvinceme.com. And I didn't acknowledge that within the debate, and I want to say that the atheist community are correct that I should have, in the debate, I should have acknowledged using uh, the Please Convince Me article right at the beginning. And so I apologise um, for not doing that. Um, the reason why I use the article is, and I'm not just saying it, but I, I'd become an expert on the arguments for the resurrection. I knew the arguments inside and out, I knew all the arguments against the resurrection from the atheist. And I just used that article because everything that I would have liked to have said was in there, but in a very crisp, detailed way that was helpful. And also the comments that he made on um, epistemology was very helpful as well. Um, and so right at the beginning I should have stated that I was using that article but in that debate there was lots of references lots of resources that I used and at the end of the debate I did put all the sources down but I should have stated that I was using that article specifically right at the beginning and I apologised that I didn't do that and it was misleading of me not to do so as an academic who's sat under hundreds if not thousands of lectures in theology uh, there was no excuse and it was misleading and I apologise to DPR Jones and I apologise to the atheist community for that having said that if DPR, DPR Jones would have done the same it would not have phased me or bothered me and I would have never brought it up because if he'd have used Hitchens, if he'd have used Sam Harris Richard Carrier or any of the major atheists, I was well equipped to spot what who we would have been using and I would have been able to refute it quite easily. Uh, and so the issue would have been for me dealing with the arguments. The fact that you concentrated on that one article rather than actually concentrating on the arguments to me honestly shows the lack of intellectual firepower that you have as an atheist community. But I apologise uh, for misleading uh, people at the beginning of the debate. Um, I did rectify it by making it clear all the source material that I used. And I genuinely believe that I won that debate in terms of argument. That I felt that whoever's material I used at the beginning, um, they were my own arguments. Because they were arguments that I would use anyway. Um, they were not refuted and I felt that I completely demolished DPR Jones in the actual question and answer and debate but I just wanted to be honest and, uh, and upfront about that uh, I do think that the allegation that, that um, Alex brought about his wife that she was ill and I said she wasn't ill. I honestly, and it is the truth, I never realised that she was very, very ill when I said that she wasn't ill. 
I, I really didn't. So for Kat and Alex at Christmas to say that I did is not fair because I didn't. And I was lashing out not at, uh, at Alex's wife, I was generally lashing out at a number of atheists such as Alex who I felt were excluding me from dialogue and debate and I was frustrated because of that. And I had no intention of hurting uh, Kat and that's the truth. Uh, as to the allegation of Fiona, I feel that I did call her a stalker and I feel that that's a strong word to use and at the time I should have tempered it by saying internet stalker. But being, saying stalker is a very emotive word and I can understand why you would get upset about that Fiona and I apologise for that. But I do feel that you and a number of atheists are virgin, verged on internet stalking where you would continually go around hassling Christian apologists. And an example of that is when you, uh, when um, Rand Campbell, uh, not Rand Campbell, um, uh, Alex Borton and JD Kane came on Rand Campbell's uh, YouTube channel, they were told not to come on and they came on time again and I don't think that's acceptable that's that is not fair and that's the kind of behavior that I was alluding to I wasn't just alluding to Facebook Richard Raspberry Facebook I was alluding to this pushing yourself on Christian apologies so when I said you were a stalker that's what I meant I didn't mean you were stalking me as a person I, I meant you that kind of behavior on the internet but I apologise that I, I didn't word it correctly and that it upset you and I apologise for that. At the same time, I really do think that it's not fair for you to in any way then say or connect me to whatever's happened to your child. I think that's not fair and I think um, it's just not fair. And, um, and as time's gone on, you've kind of lessened the blow. You've been more interested in about this issue of stalking right me using that word rather than actually connecting me to your child you've even said that you don't think that I would want to hurt your child which I'm happy that you've said that so I just think it's not acceptable that you connect me with your child uh, whatever's happened to your child I don't think it's fair um, I do think that as an atheist community, you lost the debate on the resurrection to me. I do think that, in a, that's from a scholarly perspective, that you completely failed to take me on in any shape or form. I do feel that my breadth and width on YouTube is massive. There's thousands of videos, scholarly videos, and many topics, and my breadth and width is massive. I'm not the brightest person on the block, but I am. I do have a degree in theology, and I am an expert in the field of various theological topics such as the history of theology such as historical Jesus studies and a number of other topics and um, I do think that as an atheist community you fail to engage in that um, I I do think that you bullied me, I do think that you saw me whacking the militant atheist and then you thought you'd had enough and I do think that as an atheist community a number of you did gather together and you did start to bully me and, um, and you did traumatise me on a number of occasions and I do think it's unacceptable for Cliff Jumper or any atheist to come out and take things out of YouTube uh, and I, I don't think that's fair and it and it did traumatize me so I'm just being honest about these things about all these issues about my private life and all these things I think you below the belt I think you should just leave it alone I don't think that's fair about my issues on YouTube about where I get videos from I don't that's none of your business um, at the end of the day you should just get on with your own YouTube channel and do your own things. Um, at times my behaviour where I got angry at times was unacceptable on YouTube. 
uh, sometimes I got ex uh, extremely angry and anger sometimes is not justified and uh, and I apologize for showing anger um, and so I made mistakes in that area as well but I can honestly say that I was sincere I can honestly say that I'm the real thing that I believe in the gospel and um, you know I'm in a better place God has called me to preach the gospel I wish people would stop saying I'm on the door I'm not on the door by the way so I think that you should stop trying to second guess my private life I don't think that's fair um, I'm really happy in doing evangelism and street preaching and um, and God has blessed me with a ministry that I'm really happy with and that's what I want to get on with and I want to leave YouTube and I don't have any malice to, towards any of you on YouTube atheist community in any way and I really wish you all the best and I'm sorry if I've ever said anything that's upset anybody hurt anybody uh, in any way with my words and I'm sorry for the mistakes that I've made but I did a lot of videos there's thousands of videos of me and many of them are on topics that I love dearly and I've preached a number of good sermons and done a number of good lectures and there's lots of potted videos here and there and I've made some crazy videos funny videos and I think I don't think everybody anybody who's ever met me will forget forget me on YouTube and we all make mistakes and we all grow and we all learn and I'm growing and I'm learning and I'm moving on and I'm moving in I am moving into a more productive life and um, and so I want to leave it there and if uh, if you take it up as a community and want to keep fighting me then that's up to you but for me uh, I lay it down and I just want to preach the gospel uh, and get on with my life preaching the gospel because I'm an honest person uh, I was lying in bed and I just felt I had to lay that down to rest because that's been a big bear with Cliff Jumper and Blue and others and and uh, about this debate and I wanted to be honest and fair and um, I'm right about that and, and if I've made any other mistakes or anything I do apologise but I, I, I am sincere I really do love the Jesus I do make mistakes I have failed I'm not perfect and I am learning and I have gone through a very difficult six years and I am moving on and I'm getting to a place where I'm much happier and uh, if I've upset anybody or hurt anybody in the process I apologize and um, if anybody needs me I'm always here as a friend and um, and I just encourage people to preach the gospel and continue to serve the Lord um, Samuel Weimer Seminary it, uh, those who wonder what that's all about is basically just a website it doesn't present to be anything else uh, and basically it provides free uh, study material that people have donated so people have actually been don donated those, the material um, and that's all it is so there's nothing sinister about that that's all it is um, thousands of people use it it cost me quite a lot of money to run it uh, I don't uh, even though I've got PayPal up I've never received a penny unless something's come in recently and uh, it, it's just a labor of love just providing something for people because it cost me tens of thousands of pounds to get a degree in theology so I just want to provide something for people who can't afford to go to seminary and they can just study the material there so that's all that's about and uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a wonderful ministry but I don't utilize it and maybe I should write some theology books and do some lectures for it or something and also I am uh, passionate about Muslims and it's about reaching Islam as well so so basically um, I'm moving on and, and I just wanted to set the record straight and uh, I do stand by my videos against militant atheism I do believe I was right about that but I do believe that we're to preach the gospel and that's the main thing and uh, I had made a lot of silly mistakes in videos and made some horrendous videos 
but I made some good videos as well and, and that's it so God bless everybody and take care